Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to the Perfect Play Tournament. Today we're playing round seven, game three. We are a decent way of the way through this now. And now, uh, for this game here, we have some fixed 70 in the fog on Greece. With alliances, a little bit of a uh, interesting subtext, you could say. We have an alliance offer from Nathaniel, who can give us a decent little bit of vision, but not much. It's a lot of attacking from the black bot. We have to take our bonus turn one. It is forced. Well, it's not forced, but you know, it's forced. I'm happy to stay in the fog for now. What I like to do when we have fog and alliances on is accept the alliance when I need the vision, but not send any out myself. So we'll be a little bit sneaky for the first little bit. We already have a bonus, which is good. That there is just like, there's no way I can ever pass up that bonus from how those troops were turn one. Purple didn't even have a chance to add and block it either. It's beautiful. So blue has islands on the, uh, the Ionian islands. Blue has Ionian islands. I need to get like a list or something. I'm going to open up a notepad on my laptop quick. <laughs> if you hear me typing, I'm typing into a notepad. So blue has the Ionian Islands. Purple in the middle now. Taking Thessaly. That's not Marin, that's Cecilia. Red next to me will take Epirus. We have vision on everyone and uh, all of their takes so far, which is great. Might be looking at Western Greece myself next turn. Could also look for Central Macedonia, but that's kind of a two turn play. We don't see green making any moves. We know that this side of the board is underplayed right now. This east side is completely underplayed. So we expect something to be happening along here, and there it goes. One attack. Attack into Crete. Interesting. I'm going to put that down as a green into Crete for now. The uh, bot appears to have held a lot. <laughs> No one broke the bot. Bot held Attica? Hmm. I think we just play this as a blob. I don't think we try and go split into Western Greece. I think that's kind of uh, psychotic. We use everyone else as a buffer between us and the bot. And we clear out this central Macedonian area. We're going to hit at least one, two this turn. Might even hit the second one. Yeah, great dice, great dice. Love to see that. So as I said, that's a two, that's a two turn play for Central Macedonia, but I think it's necessary. Blue going up, starting with six. So let's just check. We saw the Ionian Island. Is there a plus three? So starting with six makes a lot of sense. Blue is now looking at East Macedonia and Thrace. So very different areas that Blue is looking for. Mm. 
might just have to hit this red three is what it is purple needs to make sure this border is a lot more secure than it currently is because otherwise the black bot will come in and not make him very happy this one is a very weak point i can leave myself undefended in Kazonia because of the four in larissa it blocks off perfectly across as long as i keep uh Greniva. sorry about the pronunciations i'm not greek we don't see uh we don't see red attacking we didn't see purple attacking purple did have a plus five so you might feel less rushed Okay, looks like Crete was taken and hold, uh, held by Nathaniel, so that's a good idea. We didn't see where that attacked to, unfortunately. But I assume down. I think green, Nathaniel, is in the Cyclades. That would make sense. Now the bot only got seven this turn instead of eight, which means that it didn't get territory. Which means it was actually in Peloponnes. Break. Oh, I think that's broken. It's broken. Blue got broken. Okay, blue got broken Nionium because he said a, a thing. You can't say anything. Also red out of three here. Blue got broken. Don't say anything when you're in a fog game. Only hurts you. Um... We need to add nearly everything there. The rest there. We guarantee the 7 on 3. If we didn't do that, just have a look. 91%. Guarantee it. Don't lose a thing. Happy days. Blue will clear out that black 3. We don't have to worry about it. We will slide this. And perfect. Ooh. Not perfect. But that's fine. We will be good neighbor with blue. Since they are weak, they will need to grow. They hit the three and they will do nothing else, I reckon. Interesting to see a purple four on Lemnos. Not what we expected to see. But that there is our second bonus taken. We're currently generating plus nine, plus a little bit of extra from territory as well. Keeping strong in Lemnos. The North Aegean is going to be tough to take. Maybe that's what Purple's looking at. Now shores up this part of the border. Attack 7 down. Into Central Greece. Interesting. So we know Black Holes, Western, and uh, that plus 4. <laughs> Not pronouncing that. So we can see through the prog uh, see through the fog pretty well this game. Those are the words we wanted to use. This too, I could really do with staying alive. Otherwise, I'm going to have to kind of skip behind people. But card skipping when strong is not the worst in fixed, right? We might generate like ten or eleven troops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is exactly twelve territories. So we will generate wait wait more i uh, would generate 13 balancing that out with not trading not great of course you'd love to trade as well but it's not the worst case scenario blue uh, so black had both bonuses broken both bonuses broken tough to say that we saw the red one but it looks like green also went from the south or perhaps blue this is a weird... Uh, so this little island down here of Kithria attaches to these two for the bonus. For reference. Attached to Attica. So we generate 13 as we suspected. We are going to shore up this part of the border. We have great retaliation against purple if anything happens. And because this two stayed alive, we can generate cards over here as well. We're going to make that look stronger. And I reckon we will add to this 
the blue border for now as well. They're going to attack down into the bot. This bot, I suspect, is pretty, pretty weak right now. Maybe even killable that turn, especially without its training. But it's not worth chasing. I don't have the troops in position to chase either. We do have a 10 trade though, which is great. Now, how many troops did Blue get? Blue got seven. Blue got seven. How did Blue only get seven? Because Ionian was broken. And he had East Macedonia and Thrace, but not Ionian. We didn't see any attacks, but that's what we think has happened. Purple. Obviously, we can see they hold Thessaly, since we actually see all of their territory, which is very rare. We see the whole bonus. This is a good position. If the bot doesn't trade on four, we're going to go looking for a kill with our uh, ten trade. Because I think it's going to be worth it as a kill as well. Only issue is getting to the other side of the board. We'd have to go through Nathaniel's bonus if black exists over here, which wouldn't surprise me. Going through people's bonuses typically makes them pretty annoyed with you from what I've experienced personally. So, you know... We'll do our best. But if it doesn't trade, it's going to be so juicy that we might be forced. Keep up with how many troops people are getting. Marin is getting eight. And he is taking Western Greece and the kill. Kill is fed. Of course, we have to consider the 70% as well. That is the most important part of this game, is the way that we win. Seventeen goes in, loses three, hitting whatever that was. I'm not going to have enough troops to get 70% of the territories on this board, even with our trade and our insane generation. What we can do is make the 70 harder to run for someone else, which means fortifying something in this part of the map. Because right now, if purple wanted to run the 70, they have so many ones on us. Okay, black set. That's off the table. That's fine. Um, use the 10 trade, obviously. I think the border goes like here. We offer a few ones, but nothing beyond a few. We're going to hit this purple one this turn. The rest goes on this seven. So now we have a lot of sevens set up, as well as a six. We allow a couple of ones to be taken. But only by red on this very extreme border, then they have to hit through sevens to get anything else. Which is good. We're playing anti someone else gets the 70, while we build up ourselves. Blue got 10, so they held both. And they're fortifying their border against us, which is completely valid. That there is exactly the generation we expect. The three from defaults, they had no other territory that turn. Where they started it if they had both those bonuses the plus three the plus four and then three troops for having your turn happen or oh, being it being your turn rather i'd estimate we're a good 20 troops ahead of blue right now having had the 10 trade him not trading i think he's about 40 troops strong
maybe even less. I think the bot is clearly the weakest. However, the bot is most inconvenient for us, since it's not worth a set in turn. Just isn't the be all and end all in fixed. By any means. My issue is going to be spotting this 70 run through the fog. Something to know for later, just to point out for now, this 11 does not match with Corinthia at all. They do not connect, even though it looks like they do. The black bot is dead. Okay, that was it. I nearly went for that. <laughs> Nathaniel gets the kill. Sets in turn. He is now a card behind everyone else, but he gets another trade. That looked like a pretty cheap ki uh, kill as well. So that's good for him. He's 3v1. He's 3v1ing. Or is he, is he in motioning? He's motioning. He's motioning. Okay. Really bad vision right now. Notice, by the way, that the uh, alliance that he sent out earlier, he cannot retract. Once you send it out, you cannot retract it. And if the person waits three years to accept it, then they waited three years to accept it. And there's nothing you can do about it if they accept it. I like how this is played. I'd like a little bit more on this side. And then a lot more outside right now. Perhaps should move that back down. But I'm really blocked into this top left right now. Hmm. Maybe I should be looking for an aggressive maneuver on blue while they were weak. I'm not even thinking the kill. Just thinking taking the territory. What I will say is that this Ted is overkill to go in and get all these ones now. See, so yeah, the 19 does need to point down. I'll take the red one that's there right now. This coming turn. Purple is now generating 13. That sounds like North Aegean. Has been completed. Playing very, very fixed, not very fixed 70, is Tyler right now. Very fixed, not very fixed 70. Daniel has a lot of dudes. Yeah. See that there? Doesn't matter if you communicate things like that. Because there's nothing you can do to change it. If you have four dudes, then you're trading three of those in anyway. You may as well make something out of it and have some fun. But things like blue pointing out to people that didn't see it. That he got broken by black. I don't like. Not in fog. This here is my linchpin right now. It's going to have to be a bit stronger than the rest. This is the back wall to red and no one else. So it can be the same strength as the rest of our stuff. Including that one. But this 12 is what's holding actually most of our territory from purple. Who's the person that I am most scared of right now? I think it's justifiable by the fact that they have 
a whole lot of generation. Let's see what cards we have. We have no set on four. On second trades, again. This time it's not progressive, but I'm still angry with Marcellus because this man has cursed me. <laughs> I am convinced I have been cursed. Um, hmm. So blue is just straight up border guarding his bonus in the north here. I expect with maybe three eights, maybe he's stronger towards the 17 that's looking out. Something like that. Uh, this 10 needs to be stronger in case the 17 wants to come through. 37. I mean, I just make him pay a lot for, his, for my territory. I'm sort of screwed if I get targeted for territory anyway. Interesting. There's now two free red ones on this side. I'm assuming, of course, that Thresprosia is left open. Since, you know, I'm going to leave Aonia open to purple coming back around. Hmm. It's getting awkward. No set on full, but it's the one time it doesn't matter. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself when I cry myself to sleep tonight. We're going to hide some troops from purple. We're going to show some troops to purple. We make it very clear that if he's counting, or even subconsciously, that's not all of us that he can see. You can see all of us, but you can't see where we have the troops. And he might take that as you can't get territory from us, which is good. The reason that I've guarded like this, you could ask, and it's a reasonable question, why am I not just like border guarding? The reason being that it, I want to stop someone running the 70 more than holding my bonus. What? It's not running it. The percentage isn't going up. I'm forced to break him back for that. Let's get vision. Okay. Okay, Nathaniel's got Attica as well. We have back door on blue. From this nine. Hmm. This six I'd have to hit through. I have to hit through green twenty one is always the issue here. Nathaniel needs to bulk up near that forty three big time though. It's terrifying. And also, in case you hadn't noticed, we have the dude's trade. Because of course we do. Yeah, it does bulk up near the forty three. Good. Don't care what you do to me now. Can't break my bonus like that. And you know it. There are a lot of ones on me though. I've overextended to an extent. 
pushing this 12 out, just breaking and moving back into how kiddicky, how kiddicky is solid enough there, I think. Hitting an extra one is kind of like a screw you, but it only hurts me. However, leaving the 12 in his bonus means that he can't retake that one. This could escalate when I don't want to escalate. Just retakes and moves around. Okay. Red's pretty weak. But he has stuff down here as well. How much did he get? 11. Oh, he could. He might hold all of that as well. Okay. So we see how weak blue is. We thought he'd be weak. He's actually even weaker. But he's also just been smashed by purple a lot. Just then. We won't break purple again. We will, however, have it understood. Don't be a prick. <laughs> Don't do that again. Naughty. No set for again. Blue trades, has to move forward get his card. No, he doesn't have to. He could also go down here, but that's by the by. Completely leaves it open. Okay. We run it. No set on four. I need to see how many territories I need. Greece. We need 45 territories. We have 15 right now. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 40, 43, 44, 45 maybe, or if I get the whole way around here, do I wait one more turn, I think I wait one more turn, make this even stronger, trade is what it is it takes one more on purple then I think we run so blue has left this completely open we have 16 17 18 19 20 through 1 2 2 3 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and that's what we need. So we don't hit through the blue 10. We could we actually know. I think blue 10's cheaper for two more. I think we're going for it no matter what. I think it's gone on long enough where we should try. We have the troops. We have the troops. We have the confidence, we have the troops.
There we go. That's how you win. Dick 70. Oh. This has been my bogey settings for so long. That feels so good. And that's such a good way to redeem what happened in game one from that slider error. That's big. That's really big. Okay. That there is exactly what we wanted. And also proof of why you just shouldn't ally in fog. Because we got way too much information. Blue gave the game away by letting us take all of his bonus. And green did what they could to block off purple. But we had enough down in the south. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. Right. I will see you guys next time.